Let's give a warm welcome to Charles Schenfeld. And at age 56, uh, took a 70% pay cut and signed up for CNA training. There were nine of us in the class. I was the only male, the only one without a cell phone, and the only one without a hickey on my neck. <laughs> I think within a year I was probably the only one not with child. When I was working at the nursing home, I didn't know that one day I'd be writing a book. I wish I'd have taken notes because there were so many special moments I thought would stay with me forever that are lost to me now. I think most professional caregivers will agree with me that finding activities for your male residents can be a little more difficult than it is for the female residents. I'm a lifelong deer hunter, so I brought all of my hunting equipment to, to work one day. Uh, my doe bleats and my buck grunts and my antlers for rattling and binocular, everything but the guns. A life-size deer decoy and some rope. And we held the deer hunt. <laughs> half my book uh, deals with the realities of Alzheimer's disease, but the other half hopefully gives caregivers and family members permission to smile. Humor is a, a universal language. It bonds people, it makes friends with strangers. And without humor, I, I just couldn't have stayed on that job. For one week, I kept track of the things that bothered Letty. Monday. She wanted me to return the money she loaned me. Throughout the day, the amount varied from several thousand dollars to 29 bucks and change. Tuesday, the barking dog kept her up all night, trying to explain that the dog on the couch is a stuffed toy was not worth the effort. Wednesday, she kept taking clothes out of others' rooms. She wanted to mail them to her niece for Christmas. It was February and I wasn't sure she had a niece. Thursday, she was mad at me for what I did to her leg yesterday. Don't pretend you don't remember. Friday, why wasn't she invited to my wedding? Saturday, she's never cooking for this many people again. Sunday, my notes ended. No one's gonna believe me anyway. <laughs> I believe we all underestimate the power we have to enrich another person's life. The most powerful force we all have within us is the act of human kindness. That's not rocket medicine, and I'm not trying to sound poetic. I believe that with all my heart. I've discovered that there are ordinary angels all around me. I'm just the guy that wrote the book.